What's up YouTube, this is Pop Tech with a pop ride video, I guess you can say. Only one thing here is, to, is seen as a ride, but the other one is a ride to me. I'm gonna um, go ahead and jump into this. I found both of these in FYE, and I was able to get lucky when I found one of them, but it's the both of them really. So this is the time machine from Back to the Future. If you haven't seen Back to the Future, Back to the Future 2. Back to the Future 3. I don't know what's going on with you, but um, here is the time machine from Back to the Future with Marty in it. And it is my first pop ride. Actually, I have a door drive, but I don't have a pop ride. Now, if you look at the box, you see it is tore up. Um, this was normally $22. They actually marked it down for me because of how damaged the box was and everything. So this is going to be one of my out-of-the-box collection items. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let's get him out of the car. Alright, so you have the Marty figure. It has the watch on him, and it has the headphones, and the vest as usual he had. Um, it's very nice detail, but mine is a little badly done because it was in a box that was just thrown around and thrown everywhere. So, as you can see in the close-up, how it looks in the video. But also, the ride that he was in, I don't like the material that these rides are made of. It's just like a thick plastic, like it's not even the plastic they use for these because it's more hard. This is just real, like I can, like you can see me just push at the bottom of it. But the way he fits in there, he has a small hole at the bottom of his foot. Let's, well, let's see if I can get him to sit there. And you get him to sit in there and he can sit. Now the car though is very nice in detail. It has a, um, back of license plate as well, just very well detailed. The wheels are um, nicely done, how do you actually make sure that each spoke of the wheel was done. The front, did I say it's a bad paint job, this way GMC is a quick one, or it could just be for how the box was done. Um, in the back it shows the um, equipment that he used to travel through time, I don't know what he called it exactly, but these are very nice. But overall this is, going to be my first pop ride and first second pop that we have out of the box. So, can't complain when I get this for, um, it was 30% off, they gave me 30% off of it because of how much damage there was to it. Now, this next item I got, I got luckily, I just looking, I wasn't looking, I just had to look up to see it and I didn't see it when I first looked around. When I looked around, I finally saw it, it is the Chase version Star Wars with the um, speeder bike. This is the Luke version. They have a Princess Leia version. Only difference is, if I'm not mistaken, is that the pants look a little different when you look at them. So you just have to kind of, if you saw them out of the box and you had to look at it real quick, you wouldn't know the difference. But this is not really considered a ride because it'll have Pop Ride on it. But to me, it's a ride because he is, well, I just noticed that he's actually merged onto it. So you can't even take him off the bike if you wanted to. But it is my sixth chase now. And this is my first bigger size chase, I guess you can say. I have a Dorf chase. I got a whole bunch of regular size Funko chase, but this is my first larger size chase I have here. It's, um, now looking at it very close, like I said before, it's very nice details in the bike. It is well put together. The paint job on it is good. Like you can see on his shirt at the bottom of it, there's a little dirt that's on there and then you can see his hands though are actually glued onto the bike and he's glued onto the bike so you can't take him off but this is a bobblehead so this is cool that when you figure it out you can just shake as you just like you can just like kind of him like running around his head just moving around with everything you're doing but um this is my sixth chase so i'm very proud of this chase i think i found a way to ensure we get more chase i've been i'm learning as the time go by ways to get chase now so Again, I'm going to use this method I used to get this one to get the next one. So, 
So today's video was about rides, and my first one was the time machine from Back to the Future with Marty McFly. If you don't remember, I also have the Doc Brown one. I don't know if I told y'all about that one, but I have um, Doc Brown. He has a jumper cables. That was a Loot Crate exclusive, and I got that um, for pretty cheap. So I would put probably take both of them out because they're both not. Well, this one's actually worth a, a nice amount of money. But the maybe brown one I have is not really worth a lot of money, so I'll probably make a little scene with both of these out together. And then next one I have my Chase Luke Skywalker on speeder bike. So I'm very proud of this one. I, this is actually the first one I seen. I didn't even see the later one actually. I just I never it's been out for a while. I've been on the East East Coast again. If I'm on the East Coast, we don't get things as fast as other people, so. We don't see things. We see people posting about it and like, oh God, let me buy it from you, whatever. But by the time you kind of forget about it, oh, there it is in the store. So I'm learning to just be patient with my stuff I want to get and just to um, just wait on it. But Luke on the speeder bike, definitely worth waiting for. I'm not going to, I'll probably keep this in my collection for a while. I probably won't even try to trade or nothing. <coughs> I guess it's about time for me and me coughing right quick. But um, y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on my video. Don't forget to follow my Instagram page where you can find out what's going on before I even post a video. So keep it here with, with Pop Tech.